Okay, guys, uh, good evening. It's Friday evening, December 2nd, 2016, and this is the Friday evening recap. Hey, before we get started, I'd like to apologize for not pushing out uh, as many videos or communiques as I've been pushing out in the past. Uh, just trying to work through several different projects here that, uh, that have required a whole lot of time to do. So I'm closing in on those and it shouldn't be much longer before I get back to uh, my normal production. Anyway, let's, uh, let's get started with the recap for tonight. So we'll take a look at that, uh, all of the stats, and Crude's Wild Ride. Alright, so first up is the S&P Futures, so we'll take a look at how the levels held this week. Uh, you'll notice that, I mean, we just came off that monumental run. It was a year's move, guys, in just, uh, you know, maybe 10, 12 days. Uh, just an incredible move. So, resistance up there at uh, that 1.272 uh, um, extension level. Looks like it held, it, it came up once. Oops, sorry about that. Uh, tend to lose the there we go all right uh, yeah pegged it right to the penny and uh, well within yeah within four cents and then uh, retreated back a little bit so um, yeah so we had a little bit of weakness this week that was not a surprise I mentioned to you guys last week that this week is typically a week week um, just based on the historical uh, movements of the market, so it's not surprising that we had just a little bit of a uh, little bit of relief from that monumental run that we had off of those in, uh, election lows. Uh, levels held over uh, throughout the week, but there was still just not enough volatility to play anything in the S and P's. So, um, so we'll wait till next week. Let's see what we've got. All right, in the bond market. So we breached that one level that we had right here. We 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 did that on Wednesday. Uh, you know, probed it here, rallied back, came down close below it, went down, went through our first level, caught our danger zone in case you're playing the extremes, and then rallied back up. So, hey guys, these bonds just can't get off of the mat. I mean, they have been manipulated so much they're dead right now I mean they're just absolutely dead so this is what happens when uh, when everybody all the do-gooders try to go in there and uh, prop up everything and manipulate stuff yeah wait till everything explodes that's tied to those negative interest rates uh, that's gonna be that's gonna come apart in grand fashion it has to um, I mean, look at our bonds. We never made it to that point. We were close, but I mean, ours are just melting away. Uh, interest rates are now, you know, it's, there's no, you don't have to be uh, an expert market analysis to know we've seen the lows in interest rates, the lowest lows in interest rates that we will ever see again in our lifetime. Um, I, I bet money on that. We get back up, if we ever were to get back up to this top of this trend channel right here we just need to buy those puts on TLT for all we're worth um, but right now bonds just can't get out of uh, they can't get out of the ditch man they're just they're wallowing around in there no matter what happens and you know I'm kind of glad to see it kind of glad to see some normalcy come back into the market instead of all of this hyped up pumped up um, manipulative type buying that's been taking place for years and years and years so uh, this this markets haven't unwound yet guys that big down move we've seen right there I've never seen a move like that but you know I've always mentioned that because of the way these bonds are we we could see several days of you know four point three three to five point down moves and I think that's certainly still in the cards so uh, a <clears throat> Lights are out in bond market, guys. Lights are out in the uh, low interest rate environment. Uh, we're going to creep back up over the next 30 years. So we know what we're going to do in the bonds uh, probably until they bury us. So, uh, hey, that's that'll be the winning game on the directional directional trades. Let, let bonds rally 10 handles up and then start buying puts or selling ZBs, selling calls against the ZBs. 
All right, crude. Holy shnikes, man. What a swinging market this has been. Uh, all of us have had crude positions on it. And I got to tell you, man, it's been like a bucking bronco in this market. Um, I'm still in my position. I've had, since October 12th, I had one day where I was profitable. Uh, that was it. And it was a fleeting moment. I looked and I was green. Uh, two hours later, I looked and I was red again. So... Um, and now look at it it's just gone through the roof here so uh, uh, I've been in this thing since back you know since back in here so all the way down all the way down I was within 20 cents of adjusting and then we had that huge run back up that's not a that's not a small move back down it looks like it's a small move but it's not guys it's that's a that's a decent move in a couple of days but then look at this almost 20 percent again you know in uh, three days so it's just been a huge huge market so if you guys are still hanging on or trading in this thing uh, when a little bit of normalcy comes back in this market then we should be <laughs> you should be good for it I mean look at this move we thought this was bad look how long it took the market to get up that long it did the same thing in three days right here so um, I'm prepared to I know I'm gonna be trading this thing until the they ring the bell on expiration day there's no if ands or buts about it um, I've started peeling off all of my profitable puts I've started laying out more puts uh, that's what I'm doing right now so uh, hey I'm staying with this thing uh, there's still a lot of premium in it even though a lot has come out it's still very very plump and juicy so uh, yeah this thing is getting very very close to uh, a whole lot of short short calls and you know we're just one comment away from Putin sending this thing up to 55 I mean all he's got to do is just even you know roll an eye if somebody thinks that he's gonna say something that could send crude higher and this market will just rip right through the roof so uh, that's that's the risk that we have to watch for right now is for Putin if, if Putin's long crude right now uh, in a speculative account I mean we know he controls the spot over in his country so he may not be he may not be trading uh, you know futures he's probably trading tankers full of uh, crude over there so uh, hey, if if he's long in any speculative stuff, all he's got to do is whimper something, and uh, you know he could send this market just screaming right through the roof. So um, there's no such thing as too high in this crude market. Uh, we've still got a huge upside potential in crude. Um, just out, forget the fundamentals. I mean, this market right now is trading off of so many. Um, speculative uh, I guess statements from some of the most crooked and least least respected people I think on the face of the earth and I mean geez guys I wouldn't I wouldn't do it not only would I not do a deal with a handshake with the people that run this uh, that are making these comments over there in the Middle East I wouldn't even do a deal with them with a contract because it means nothing to them. They're some of the most unethical people in the world. They're manipulative, and geez, if you don't think that they're not coming out and just uh, uh, overtly moving this crude market to benefit themselves, and then, then you're crazy. I don't really know a lot about the crude market, but I can see a, I can detect a manipulated market, you know, at uh, at a thousand paces, and this one's being manipulated. So. Uh, um, at some point in time it's going to settle back down and we'll be able to kill it but uh, you know I would not put a strangle on right here going forward I would want to see this market crank back down a little bit at least get back into a range I'd say if we get to 46 again then that's uh, that's a sign to, to go ahead and let I mean I'm sorry 49 we get back down to 49 um, start laying them out 48 lay them out so uh, I don't know I have no idea what crude's doing it's not trading on fundamentals it's just rumors and 
posturing for what everybody believes is going to happen overseas. So watch out for Putin. That's all I got to say. Uh, dollar dollar was a good boy this week. Uh, stayed between the lines. Nothing much to report on. And uh, gold didn't follow the dollar. Um, kind of diverged from it a little bit. Doesn't mean anything. Just didn't follow it like it has been here lately. So gold caught a bid down here at the first level. Uh, rallied back up a little bit. But, uh, you know, this market's been beaten down pretty badly too. So um, it would not surprise me to see a nice little rally pop in this thing. Just a relief rally. You know, a first target be somewhere up here around this um, upper channel. I, I wouldn't put it past you know going past the uh, uh, first level next week we just haven't seen a, a nice rip to the upside in gold and you know it's it's due one for sure so uh, anyway that is a recap for this week and let me see if there's anything else um, we have the Fed coming out with the interest rate announcement on the 14th uh, everybody that's kind of like a lead pipe cinch that they're going to raise I have no idea what the market is going to do uh, I'll try to come up with some trades we'll, we need to watch IV really closely going into that watch IV on gold we need to watch it on the S&P's although I don't think S&P's are going to get spiked up enough uh, to really make a good play but you never know um, you never know what the uh, trading community is going to do just prior to that Fed announcement so uh, we've got 14 days to build up to that I think that's the biggest event coming up so uh, hey I didn't I'm, I'm not sure what the what the number was this morning I didn't uh, I didn't catch that but you know it must have big must have been a big yawner uh, looking at the S&P right here nothing really happened so uh, uh, no matter what that number was the market wasn't impressed nor was it disappointed either way so anyway guys that is a wrap for tonight and i uh, hope you guys have a nice weekend and i will see you later this is ba signing out